In this video, we're going to talk about how to properly organize your Google Drive files for your small business so you can stress less and have more success. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another Soul Gold video. Or if you're new here, welcome to the Soul Gold channel. It's so good to have you. And thank you for watching today. My name is Tommy with Soul Gold Marketing, and we're all about helping you with your social media marketing for your business. And if you're watching today and you just want to get straight to the point for free to skip ahead, or you can look down in the description below for a link for a infographic PDF that we have provided that will show you the file and folder system that we use. Or if you want to take a deeper dive and understand the logic behind how we structured our file and folder system in Google Drive, then keep on watching. I want to get you into the right mind frame before we get started, and that is the organized mindset. Before we get into the nitty gritty into how we're going to organize our files. So let's take a clothing company, for example. If Let's say you're, you're a clothing company and as a clothing company, how are you going to organize or divide up your inventory, right? You have, typically you'll have tops, bottoms, sneakers, and then from there you can break it down even further. So let's start at tops. Tops can be short sleeve, long sleeve, and hoodies. Now you go to bottoms. That can be shorts, swim trunks, and jeans. Then next you have shoes, and that can be sandals, sneakers, and dress shoes, right? So now you begin to understand how we're going to go through this organization. You actually have to kind of reverse engineer your thinking and go, and go from big to small or from general to detailed instead of starting small and then going big. So that's how we're going to tackle this with organizing our files. And so right now I'm going to transfer you over to the big screen and we'll get started. All right, as I go into our Google Drive, I want you to think about the main components of your business or of a business in general. What are the main components? Okay, so when you think of the main components of your business, you'll think of you know the business side of things, business operations, development, you'll think of clients, your services that you provide, your team, your marketing and sales, etc etc so here at soul gold as you can see this is kind of our main component or the main components of our business and our goal here was just to really just keep it simple so let's go ahead and just dive right on in so we have four to five different components here on our google drive for soul gold so we have archive business clients marketing and sales and team archive that's going to be files that we haven't touched in six months and we don't plan on touching them in three months we don't plan on using it in three months right so we'll put that in the archive next you have business so anything business related will go in here operations development that will go into that folder and then you have clients anything client related client work that's going to go into this folder and now you have marketing and sales you can separate that as two folders or one does not matter that is up to you and then you have team your team anything that's relevant to your team those files will go in here so i won't dive into the archive but let's go ahead and just dive into the business folder so on the business folder again we put it down even more four to five different components so under business we have business development business operations contracts financials and legal so what i'll do is actually dive into these folders as well to give you even a further breakdown so under business development or anything that we're planning for the business our business goals ideas research and development that we do and in any project initiatives that we are working on so really that's all we have for business development going back out let's look at business operations i'm not going to dive into it but i'll talk about it real quick this business operations is essentially anything that you need to keep your business running whether that's your overhead stuff like rent your um your business insurance things like that right anything that need that you need to keep your business operating and then contracts let's go ahead and just dive into contracts real quick so under contracts we have our 1099 independent contractors we have our client contracts we have contract templates so we don't have to draft up a brand new contract every single time and keep it consistent it's more professional that way right and then you have your employee contracts 
And then we also have W9s in here that we send to everyone that we work with. And then from there, we can go into financials. We'll dig into this one real quick as well. So financials, again, to keep it real basic, we just organize it year by year from 26 into 2020. We've been in business for 20 years and, you know, as simple as that. And then within each folder each year, you know, we have our tax stuff, we have all of our financial numbers, things like that, right? You have payroll documents and then we have templates. Um, our budget templates, our quarterly budget templates, or your cash flow statements, things like that. Um, there's a lot of software now that already provide you those templates for free that come with the software, which is great. And we also have a tax checklist, which I, I love using during tax season just because it helps me just stay on track. And that's something that was just provided by our CPA. All right, coming back out into the business folder and then we have legal, um, that's just all your legal stuff, right? So let's take a look real quick. You have, you know, California state things, you know, workplace compliance posters, internal legal stuff, and then we have our IRS legal stuff. So that's basically the main gist of it um, for those files. So let's back out all the way to the Sogo Drive. So now let's dive into clients. Let's go ahead and go into the folder. So clients, again, we break it down even further, the four to five, five to six, different folders. So we have project labs here and I like having this folder because this lets me know if I put anything in this folder, all the files can be seen by everyone on our team and possibly even clients, depending on um, how much access we give the client in order, in order if they want to see like an edit, like to see the editorial calendar or to see the content that we are creating for them. So that's project collabs, which is great to have. Then you have your active and non-active client folders processes and checklists. I love this folder as well, just to keep us consistent with our workflow on how we onboard clients and etc. right? Here we have questionnaires. This is what we send to our clients, questionnaires for them to answer questions. And then we have services. This is to help us understand what services that we're providing and what's included with each service. So this is always a good thing to have. And then when you're do when when you have processes or when you have things that you do over and over, it's always good to write those processes down or the services that you provide. So you can always stay consistent with your work and with, you know, how you run your business. And then from there, let's go into marketing and sales. So marketing and sales, I've actually have it broken down into three different areas, branding, marketing and sales. We won't get too much into branding. Um, I'm sure you know some of you may understand that and some of you may not. If you don't know what branding is, please look into it. So we have a branding folder. We'll dive into the marketing folder. Again, it's broken down uh, a little bit more, gets a little bit more detail. So this shows kind of all the marketing areas where we are putting efforts into, right? Brand marketing, content marketing, we have email marketing, network, paid advertising, social media marketing, and then you have your web marketing. So we just broke it down there. So when we're, you know, working on a certain effort for, you know, in, in marketing, we can easily find it, right? If we're working on e email campaigns, we know it's gonna be an email marketing, or maybe we're doing some networking, we have maybe events and things, you know, that's relevant to that. And of course, social media marketing, anything that we do for social media, will go here. And then let's back out one more. Sales, this is a pretty straightforward one. You have your funnels. The pricing of our services, project agreements, or proposal and agreement templates, and then training, sales training itself. So as we're building our sales team, we want to make sure they're equipped with the proper tools and proper information in order to be able to close a sale. And that's pretty much it for marketing and sales. It's, I mean, it's I would say it's pretty straightforward. And then from t for team, I'm not gonna really dive into that. That's just anything really team related. And, you know, that could be like the roles um, for each team member and things like that, just to give more clarity for our team. And we provide resources in there as well for our team to continue learning because that's, that's a big part of what we do here at Soul Gold is to continue to learn because with social media marketing, things are always changing and we want to keep up and we want to continue to learn. You know, 10, 15 years from now, we're always are going to be learning. So I hope that helps you guys. I understand this folder file structure system may not work 100% for your business, but it is what works for us here at Soul Gold. And we just wanted to keep it simple and 
really the ultimate goal for this whole folder file system is to make sure we're able to find our files quickly and efficiently and that's just the that's the overall goal of it and that's how it really is and that's why we just we want to keep it simple so i would say use this format however you would like tweak it add stuff to it remove stuff from it and make it work for your business because every business is a little bit different and i totally understand that if you made it this far thank you so much for watching and i hope this video helped you in one way or another when it comes to organizing your business files in google drive also if you may know if you know someone that may be more on the unorganized side of things please share this video with them please help them out and get them organized in their business also one other thing free social media 101 guide we have a free social media 101 guide down below in the description, there is a link that you can get access to it right now. All you have to do is just fill out the form with your name and then your email to sign up for our newsletter and you'll get instant access. This guide is perfect for beginners in social media. So if you're just starting out with social media for your business and you're looking, you know, you have, you have like certain questions, right? Like what type of content should I post? What type of platform should I be on or which platforms should I be, be on or maybe which ones are the best ones? This guide answers those questions. So it can be helpful for you if you're stuck with your social media marketing. So please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and also hit the notification bell. And if you already subscribed, thank you so much. And if you are not yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on SoGo's videos on social media and business. And last thing, Follow us on Instagram at Team Sogold. Join the team where we share social media related content and share our experiences and lessons learned in running a business. My name is Tommy and thank you again so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.